Good morning, Pioneers. Today is Friday, September 27th, and I'm your host, Anigo Davila. Although this script is extremely rushed, that hopefully won't stop this from being a great episode. Let's start off with Wyatt Bachman and his package about the season's change. Hey, Pioneers. Today we're going to talk to some students and teachers around the school to see how they feel about fall. Let's start with Jason Keckler. Well, I'd say fall is not my favorite time of year. It gets really cold, and I frankly don't enjoy the cold that much, but I like all the pretty colors. My favorite season by far probably has to be spring. I love seeing everything come back to life. I love when it starts to warm up. Let's switch over to Miss Longberg to see how she feels about the season of fall. Uh, fall is actually my favorite season. Um, I love the color change. I love the um, cooler days, the cooler temperatures. Um, the getting ready for the holiday season, um, all that. So fall's my favorite. That's it for today, Pioneers. This is Wyatt for PTV signing out. Thanks, Wyatt. Speaking of fall, our fall sports are up and running. Next week, you can catch the following sports at home. Monday, varsity tennis and freshman and JV football are home. Tuesday, volleyball and soccer are here. And Thursday, tennis is back home. Do you like movies? I know I do. And so does PTV's very own Jeremiah Ulyss. This week, he covers the classic stop-motion movie, Corpse Bride, in preparation for the upcoming spooky season. Starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter, Corpse Bride is a stop-motion fantasy film directed by Tim Burton, released in 2005. The film revolves around Victor Van Dorn, the son of two fish merchants who was forced by his parents into an arranged marriage with his aristocratic neighbor, Victoria Everglot. During a rehearsal for the wedding, Victor forgets his vows and ruins the rehearsal, and he is forced out to practice the ceremony. Alone in a neighboring forest, Victor finally successfully recites his vows and places the ring on a nearby branch of a tree. Suddenly, the branch is revealed to be the skeleton arm of a dead woman named Emily, who immediately declares him as her wife. I do. Taking Victor into the land of the dead, Emily attempts to bond with him, but Victor still yearns to reunite with his true love, Victoria. Soon Victor learns about the circumstances of Emily's death, and he, along with his undead acquaintances, goes on an otherworldly journey to return back to his world before it's too late. The film's animation is gorgeous, with the painstaking stop-motion process being incredibly immersive and breathtaking throughout. The movie whisks you away and immerses you into its world, and the plot is fun and magical. I wholeheartedly recommend this movie to anyone. It's a great movie, and the animation is truly beautiful. Corpse Bride is rated PG for some violence and some frightening imagery. Play dead. Sorry. <laughs> As usual, a great video from Jeremiah. LV has a plethora of extracurricular activities. Michael Williams takes an in-depth look at LV's very own chess club. What up, LV Pioneers? It's Michael Williams with PTV. Today, I'm going to be talking about chess club. How did you get involved in chess club at Leavenworth High School? Well, back in 91, I started a chess club here in town, USCF, and ran it for about 12 years. And then about 14 years ago, the lady that was running the chess thing at that time asked me to come over and coach. So I've been doing that ever since. Uh, why did you choose to sponsor Chess Club? Uh, I got the opportunity when Miss Kramer asked me if I would be willing to take over. Um, I do play chess, but I've learned pretty quickly that the people in this club can kick my butt at it, and uh, this guy included. But I think we'll have fun. So. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thanks, Michael. If you want to join the chess club, head to room 253 on Thursday afternoons. It's free to join. This week has banned books week around the country. Other schools banned certain books and LV's library is raising awareness. PTV member Shelby Tyranny is here to talk all about it. I decided to review one of the commonly challenged to be banned books, The Diary of a Girl, Anne Frank. The book was banned in Florida and in Texas, but has not yet been banned here. You can still find this book in the library where it was on display for the Band Book Week. This book is written by the woman herself, Anne Frank, and was published in 1947. The book has writings that Anne Frank had kept from her two years she was hiding from the Nazis. The book is rated for ages 14 and older. This book is for anyone who really likes autobiographies. Some other commonly banned books are The Child Caught It, 
Holy Bible, To Kill a Mockingbird, and Steinbach. This has been Shelby Tierney for PTV signing out. Thanks, Shelby. Tonight there's a Coffee House Choir event in the cafeteria at 6.30. Stop by for music, coffee, and snacks. We're getting close to homecoming. The dance is October 12th and we'll have a week of activities leading up to it. Be sure to listen in on announcements next week for the Spirit Week. Details, special event like Powder Puff and information about the half day and parade. That's all we have for today's episode of PTV. We'll catch you next time. I'm the one and only Inigo Davila. PTV out.